name's Leah. I'm 25 years old. I'm a singer-songwriter, uh, currently living in Eastbourne. I've been playing music most of my life, to be honest. I started out as an actor, and then music kind of took over somewhere around 13, 14. My first guitar was literally out of the closet from um, a relative, it was my aunt's, and it wasn't tuned, I didn't know how to tune it, but I just started to play it, and I loved it, and I've not stopped to this day. <laughs> no, it wasn't a case of me getting booed off stage one day and like, screw this, I'm going to do music instead. Um, I, I kept acting up to about 16, 17. Um, but having focused on music, I uh, went to uni to do music. Uh, I'm not currently acting, I'm not particularly pursuing it, but if the chance came up, I wouldn't say no. I, I just love being on stage. For me, music and the acting are two sides of the same coin, so... Um, my absolute single biggest inspiration is a man called Brent Smith. Uh, he's the lead singer of Shinedown. And when I was 15 or so, uh, I was just starting to sing a little bit with the playing. And to me, I wasn't sure if it worked. I didn't know if there was a sound that people wanted to, to, to listen to. I hadn't really heard anybody else you know, in the industry sound like I, I did. And then I heard them do one song, uh, and I was sold. I thought, that's something I want to sound like. If he's doing it, I can do it. Why not? Um, so that he is my, my main inspiration. Uh, in general, all sorts of weird things. Everything from Pantera to Miley Cyrus. I probably claim to have some influence from. Imagine they collaborated. A bit late. Describe my sound. Um, so it, it varies quite a lot, it can be everything from quite um, pop rock sound to, to much more folky. One of the things I try and try really hard to do, one thing I don't like when I'm seeing somebody live and it's just a voice of the guitar, if they, if they do a whole 45 minute set and they don't stop playing their guitar once and all that time, that really gets on my nerves. So for me, dynamics are very, very important. Acoustic guitars are amazing, they're great instruments, but if you don't mix it up a little bit when you're playing, playing the songs, it can get really old really quickly, so I do a lot of rhythmic stuff with my playing, I try and play as little as possible, and let the vocals fill the space. Um, uh, one, you know, I haven't got the best voice in the world, I'm not the best songwriter, but in terms of performance, the energy I bring, it is one thing that I consistently get a lot of feedback about, so I always try and bring as much of that as possible. Um, I don't know how to answer that question because when I'm playing live I tend to be on the stage rather than you know, watching myself. Um, I like to think it's entertaining. I like to think that, particularly when it comes to live performance, it is a little bit different from what people are used to seeing. You know, there are millions of people out there with great voices and great, and great guitar skills. Um, so for me it's about engaging with the audience, it's about putting the energy into it um, and really trying to make it special from, from that direction. Uh, so that's what I hope that it's like to see me live. Uh, they tend to have a, a C theme, okay, it can't come up quite a lot. Um, I think it goes back a lot to, to the folk roots, where a lot of folk music, a lot of sea shanties, were quite focused on the sea because there's so much danger inherent in it. You know, ship, ships would go away for months at a time, you have no idea if you're ever going to see the, the, your, your loved ones again. So lots and lots of emotions involved in that. I always like to try and tell a story with, 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 my, with my songs. Um, and there's usually a, a sting in the tail. I don't write many out and out happy songs. There's always something at the end that makes it really depressing. Um, but often with quite upbeat tunes that people don't always realise, which is okay. This is a tricky one again because my writing process is crap. Uh, I'm not somebody who can spend hours carefully reworking a song. All my best songs have, come to, have just come to me. Um, they're, they're 50 minutes from start to end. I find the tune I like, and then the words kind of just write themselves almost. I'm, I don't get that involved with the creating process. It just does itself. Um, what that means is that I can go months without actually writing any of these songs, which is really frustrating, because I don't have a, a concrete process. So one thing I'm trying to work on at the moment is getting more um, 
disciplined with it and just write material more often, even if it doesn't necessarily lead to a song. My dream is trying to make enough money for music to live and I make a living from. Uh, I don't necessarily want to be hugely massively famous because I don't think it's actually that glamorous a career. Uh, the people at the very top doing it day in, day out. It is a hard life. I, I think people scoff at that, but they're away from home a lot because they're touring constantly. Touring conditions you know, aren't great, you're on the move constantly. Uh, so for me, it's not about being famous, it's not about that side of it, but I like to teach, I like record, recording, I like playing live. Um, so if do some combination of that, I can make a living in a couple of years without having to have any other work, that would be fantastic. Until then, I actually I work as an accountant by day. So I've got mild, mild amount of accountant by day, mild amount of musician by night. Um, like a really crappy superhero. Uh, I love Tiger Woods. Um, I, I, I don't own that many guitars. Uh, I can't afford to. Yeah, I don't know, somebody's got five, six, or seven lying around. Um, I've always had Tanglewoods. I think in terms of affordability, there's probably not a better brand out there. For kind of mid-range pricing, the sound you get is very, very good. Um, and they won't break the bank to get them. Beyond that, I'm not, I'm not that into the whole one brand over another. I'm not, you know, I'm not that interested in, in having a particular name on my guitar. It's all about how it sounds, it's all about how it plays and how it mixes with my voice. I released a couple of months ago a folk EP uh, with, with my dad, because that's just really cool. Uh, no, it's cool, he's, he plays banjo and he's a singer as well, and he's how I got into folk. Um, so it's just a, a four song EP called Snoop and Son. You can find it on my SoundCloud, which is Leo Snook Music. Uh, and we use, we've got the picture, me at 18 months old, with a banjo in my lap. So clearly destined for, for great folky things. So music I've got at the moment um, on my SoundCloud, which is Leo Snook Music. Uh, I've got a range of things, but I did also release a four track EP with, with my dad. Uh, quite, quite folky, it's one original and, and three quite traditional songs. He, he, he plays banjo and does, does some vocals and I do my, my, my singing and guitar thing. Um, so yeah, so, so SoundCloud's a, a good place to find me. If you just search my name in anywhere on Google, it, it will lead you to me, because fortunately I've got a very unique name. There's, there's very few of me out there, and even less doing music. So, Leo Snook, S N W O K. you can't go too far wrong. Um, Jacob Schleski, probably butchered his surname so badly, so Jacob, uh, who is same guitarist, uh, if my first choice. Um, Sean Fennessy and his, his crowd, because uh, those guys are insanely good as well, so much energy, and the lovely people, which helps. And third, I'd sign myself. No, um, I have to sign locally. Probably sound little, because Dee's got an amazing voice. Uh, you should check me out because I'm genuinely trying to do something different with just a voice and a piece of guitar. I'm just, I just I love playing. If you ever see me see me locally, just come and say hi. Come check out where I'm playing, um, and I'll give you a free cookie. Might not be a cookie.